I'm Kyla Brox. I'm from Manchester in the UK. I like to sing blues music and I've been doing so for a number of years. Well, I was quite lucky because my dad's a blues musician, so I began singing in his band when I was only 12 years old, and that was basically how I came to love the blues, and it fitted perfectly for me with my voice, I feel, um, because it's a music of emotion and expression, and it's, it's a great form of music to sing, I think. Take off your coat, grab a beer. Don't hesitate, just come. When I began my career, I began with my father, as I said. So I guess he's probably the biggest influence <laughs> because I grew up singing his songs and performing with him. So from the age of 12, when I started to perform with him, um, I then moved on and I got my own band when I was only 20, maybe. I started with my own band and we've done many tours around the UK. We've toured in Australia, we've been to America and we like to play in Europe a lot. France is one of my favourite countries. My dad lived in France for a long time near Bordeaux, so I spent a lot of a lot of time here when I was a teenager. I think there's some amazing players in Europe and in France, some great, great musicians. And also there's some great audiences. <laughs> it's, it's quite a pleasure to come to Europe and play. In Britain, um, we have brilliant music fans as well, brilliant blues fans. Um, but it tends to be often the same kind of demographic, you know, it's um, slightly older, generation. I, th I feel like when we come to Europe, we play to a more varied audience, which for me is, is great. It's nice to do that. J'espère que vous avez les voix ce soir. Oui. Oui. <laughs> Parce que je crois que vous pouvez aider moi, chanter un peu. My other favourite artists are Nina Simone, Etta James, Coco Taylor. When I first started singing blues, um, I sang quite a lot of Bessie Smith numbers, and I think that's good sort of grounding in blues because she was the, the grandmother of the blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
for me, blues is, is about life. You know, it's, it's all about emotions and um, it's a music of the people, I think. So it can speak to everyone. It's something that, that you sing from your soul and hopefully that will also touch other people in the way that, that you're feeling. You can be feeling sad, you can be feeling happy, you might want to dance, you might feel sexy. You know, it's, it's a music of, of life. And um, I think that's one of the most important things for me is to be able to express my emotion when I sing. I always strive to, to help people understand the way I'm feeling. That's, that's what I want to get across when I'm, when I'm singing. I always know if, if I've got goosebumps, then the other people in the audience have got, have got goosebumps. I think it's an energy transfer, you know? It's when you're performing, it isn't just what you're doing on stage, it's, it's in response to the audience. It's a two-way performance, I think. I began playing the flute when I was a child and I learned to play classically. So I played all through school. I, I first saw a flute when I was quite young, maybe three or four years old, and I always knew that I wanted to play the flute. But I never envisaged playing it on stage, um, you know, playing blues with the flute. But I did all my grades, my teacher wanted me to be a classical flautist and but by that point I'd already started to sing the blues and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. So I stopped playing the flute for a long time after I left school and then um, my dad and my husband said you know you should be playing it on stage. But it's a completely different thing to improvise compared to just reading music you know and playing classically so it took me a while to get into the groove I think but now I, I, I enjoy it, I really enjoy playing it. And it is an unusual instrument, I don't play it on every, every track, but I think it works. <laughs> It is slightly more difficult as a, as a female. It's, it is a man's world still, the blues, but there are a lot more women coming through these days, I think, certainly in Britain. Um, for me, one of the most difficult things is being a mother as well. So I think when you play blues music, you have to do concerts, and that's what, you know, that's how we make our living, that's what we love to do. But it's very difficult to tour with children as well, especially when they've started school. Um, yeah, so in some, I think in a lot of ways it can be easier for a man. Um, most most mums are the primary carers, I guess, of children, and I think it's it's quite unusual, really, for a um, a female blues singer to have to have kids or young children. They're not usually out 
doing concerts when they've got young children. So that's, um, that's one of the hardest things, I think. Danny is my husband. Il est mon mari. Et uh, aussi, nous avons deux enfants qui sont ici avant, mais il dort maintenant. J'espère. <laughs> Um, the prochain chanson is a écrivé for my children. From the earth up to the sun from before time had begun I will love you I will love you more and more Higher than a bird can fly The sum of the stars up in the sky I will love you I will love you more well, I think the role of, of women in blues, I guess it's the same as, as men, really. But I think that women can sometimes bring a little bit more softness or some soul, a bit more soul occasionally to the mix in the blues. That's what I do, anyway. But there are a lot of incredible female musicians as well. It's not just about, about singers. So there's loads of, of great in, uh, young people female guitarists coming through and yeah so I think there's a place for, for women in blues I do mm -hmm. 